Hello, bacho. So let's see the question. And the question says that a glass capillary tube of internal diameter 0.6 mm is held vertically with the lower end in water and with 80 mm of the tube above the surface of the water. So how much high does water rise? So if the tube is now lowered until 30 mm of its length is above the surface of water, what happens? And surface tension of water is 70 to 9 per centimeter. So question pe bola gaya hai ki ek capillary tube hai glass ka jiska internal diameter hai 0.6 mm and isko vertically place kiya gaya hai iska lower end water mein hai and iska tube ka 80 mm water ke surface ke bahar hai. So hum log ko find karna hai water kitna height tak rise karega and ye question ka first case hai and second case mein now hum log tube ko 30 mm water surface ke above rakhenge and uske baad kaisa changes hota hai hum log ko find karna hai so now hum log yahan pe dekhte hai kaun sa key concept use karenge so yahan pe hum log likh sakte hai here we are using key concept yahan pe hum log key concept use karenge capillary rise so capillary rise formula is given by the equation h equals to 2 sigma cos theta divided by rho g r let's take this equation number one so here h is the height of fall or rise sigma is the surface tension theta is the angle of contact rho is the density of liquid g is the acceleration due to gravity and r is the radius of capillary tube and another concept here we are using radius of meniscus so using this two concepts we can solve the question so hum log abhi question pe dekhte hai kaun sa value given hai so yahan se hum log bol sakte hai the diameter of the tube d equals to it is given 0.6 mm so yahan se hum log ko radius milega radius r equals to 0.3 mm so hum log r ko centimeter mein convert karenge so hum log ko radius r equals to milega 0.03 centimeter and the value of surface tension sigma equals to it is given 72 9 per centimeter and the value of height capital is means length of the tube above the water surface it is given capital is equals to 80 mm which we will convert into centimeter so therefore here we will get 8 centimeter so now using equation 1 further solving this we can return as here we can return as from equation 1 we will get a is equals to now here we will put the values 2 multiplied by the value of sigma is 72 multiplied by for pure water angle of contact is 0 degree so here we can turn as cos 0 degree divided by density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube multiplied by the value of acceleration due to gravity here we can take as 1000 centimeter per second square so multiplied by 1000 multiplied by radius of capillary tube which we will get 0.03 centimeter so therefore further solving this here we will got the value of height h equals to it is 5 centimeter so now when the tube is lowered length of the tube above the surface of water we can written as it is capital h dash equals to 30 mm which we will convert into centimeter so therefore here we will get 3 centimeter so therefore here we can see that small h is greater than h dash so the tube is insufficient length and water will rise up to the top end of the tube however it will not overflow so it will change the radius of curvature of the meniscus from smaller to capital R so here we can click on the r h dash equals to r multiplied by small h so therefore further solving this here we will get radius of meniscus capital R equals to we will get here 0.03 multiplied by 5 divided by 3 so hum logo yahan se radius of meniscus milega 0.05 cm so hum log yahan se bol sakte hai hum logo ka final answer water will rise after height h equals to 5 cm and when we lower the tube 30 mm then we will got the value of radius of meniscus capital R equals to it is 0.05 cm.
centimeter. So, hope you understood it well. Best of luck. Thank you.